All right, so Miss Marvel episode two is out on Disney Plus now. I know I'm a little late to uh, making this video, but I uh, I gotta work on Wednesdays at 3.30 and I cannot stay up super late to watch this and review it. I did stay up late to watch it, but uh, at that point I'm like, I'm not reviewing this at 4 a.m. because where I'm at, you know, in California and stuff, they have it, they have it made. They get these episodes at midnight. I have to stay up until 3 a.m. to watch these episodes. So, yeah, I haven't even watched Kenobi yet. Definitely going to be a little late getting to that one. But, uh, oh, well, it is what it is. If you're listening on the podcast, then uh, then it's nothing for you. But, yeah, um, Miss Marvel, episode two. Great episode. The first episode was pretty great. Um, if you heard my review of the last episode, you'll know that I didn't do a spoiler discussion. That will be different for this review. It'll mostly be a spoiler discussion when it comes to these shows covering them week to week. There's really not a whole lot you can say in terms of non-spoilers reviewing one episode, like a specific episode. So for the most part, I'll I'll have a little bit of non-spoiler stuff, but uh, it'll mostly be a spoiler discussion. Um, yeah, so this is a great episode. I think I just said this, but the last episode was pretty great. This one, even better. It tops that for me. Amon Vellani is fantastic as Kamala Khan slash Miss Marvel. And um, it's a character I'm not 100% familiar with. The most familiarity I have with their character comes from the Avengers game, which was completely horrible. But I will say Kamala Khan was the best part of that game. Um, yeah, Amon Vellani, she's great. We got Matt Lentz as Bruno Cariel, or Cariel, Carielli, sorry, Car Carelli. I think it's Carelli. Um, he's supposed to be like, kind of like a tech genius, one of the best friends of Kamala Khan. We also have Yasmin Fletcher as Nakia, the other best friend of Kamala Khan. Both of them are pretty good. Nakia hasn't had a whole, mu a whole lot to do yet. Uh, Bruno definitely, you know, he's the more prominent friend of the two so far. But uh, in this episode, we got to see a lot more of Nakia and kind of what she's all about. So that's very cool. Um, I feel kind of bad for... The things I said in the last review of episode one of Miss Marvel, where I just basically shit on uh, Kamala's mom. But to be fair, her mom wasn't doing me any favors, you know, in terms of giving, giving her cool points. Um, the coolest thing she did in this episode was let, let Kamala go to a party. That's the biggest spoiler I'll give to you about this episode. Uh, whereas the last episode, before Kamala even did anything to make her mom not trust her, her mom was like, no, I don't trust you. And uh, that kind of pissed me off. I, it really did. When when a parent says, I don't trust you, you either have done things to make them not trust you or or they're just being an asshole about it, you know? And uh, based on, you know, only seeing, you know, the one first episode of their interactions, I, it, it doesn't give me enough reason to believe that um, um Kamala I keep wanting to call her Amon I mean obviously that's the actress's name but um you know we haven't seen enough to show that Kamala is like a troublemaker really she just daydreams and stuff like that and her mom was just so mean to her in the last episode I feel like I, I mean she's just trying to be a kid dude I, she made some mistakes but come on um so yeah her mom really made me mad in the last episode and that's mostly what I talked about in that review uh, so for anybody who was upset by that, I'm sorry. And uh, even though it's just a character, I would like to apologize to the character as well because uh, I don't think it was fully deserved. She was kind of cool in this episode. She was coming around. So, um, you know, I'll give her some cool points. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that real quick because, uh, yeah, hopefully I didn't piss anybody off with that. But I'm not too worried about pissing people off, to be honest. I piss, I probably piss quite a few people off with a lot of things that I do, but I don't give a shit. Um, so yeah, that's really all I have to say in terms of non-spoilers. Just great episode. Had a lot of fun with it. Can't wait to see where it goes next. Um, so yeah, that's really all I can say. Excuse me. Hiccups. Pardon me. One second. Okay. Uh, also, it's really hot. It's been like 90 degrees today. Um, 91, I think was the high and uh it's not been a fun day and i don't have a fan on right now i got two lights on me by the way i got a cool new uh cool new led bar that i can uh, change the colors on i got this little remote i can control it with my phone too but i'm recording with that 
Um, so let's just like do a green, you know, red. Got all sorts of cool colors, but I'm doing a purple right now for Miss Marble. Uh, hopefully that's purple. I'm a little bit colorblind, but yeah, thought that'd be a little cool addition to my videos. But yeah, great episode, like I said. So let's get into spoilers. If you have not watched episode one or two of Miss Marble at this point, then I suggest you click off the video if you're watching or not watching, but listening on the podcast. Um, I'd say skip ahead like maybe six-ish minutes. I, I don't think I'll have a whole lot to say, but yeah, you have been warned. So yeah, let's get into spoilers. Uh, starting off at the very beginning, Zoe is now super popular after being saved by uh, Nightlight, which is the new name for, uh, you know, Kamala and her powers, which is kind of funny. It's kind of similar to Night Monkey from Spider-Man Far From Home. But uh, yeah, not a great name, that's for sure. But Zoe is being the popular one. Nobody knows Kamala was the one that saved her. So, of course, the person that was saved is going to be the popular one. So she has a party. She invites the new guy, Cameron, or Cam Cameron. Uh, played by Rish Shah, I believe, um, which he was really great in this episode. Forgot to mention that in the non-spoiler section. I could have probably mentioned that, that he got introduced in this episode. But yeah, very charismatic, really fun. Uh, we learned some things about him at the very end of the episode that I'm still a little confused by, but um, so far so good. He's a really great actor. He is 28, I believe, playing a senior, which is kind of weird, but maybe they'll explain that and he's going to be like, Oh, no, I'm not actually in school. You know, I'm an adult. We'll see. I don't know. There might be some links to, like, Inhumans slash Eternals with Cam uh, Cameron's mom. And also, they might be related, uh, Cameron and uh, and Kamala. So, that's kind of weird. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. Just, you know, based off of uh, the new Rockstars breakdown I watched and some other people talking about it, I heard that it's possible they could be cousins, which... You know, that's kind of ironic because they were on that, that date, I guess, at the restaurant and uh, her cover story when her brother came up was, oh yeah, this is our cousin. And that was a really funny scene, but just hearing about it later and like, oh God, they might actually be cousins. It's kind of weird. But um, yeah, Kamala, she uh, she made a fist with her hard light. She calls it hard light now. Don't love that name, but um, yeah, she made the, like the iconic fist kind of in a way. I mean, in the comics, it's more just like she she's almost like Mr. Fantastic in a way where like, you know, she can stretch and stuff like that. But it, it's more of a, you know, cosmic light. But she did make the fist. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, a couple things that I have issues with in this episode. First of all, I get that Br I, I'm literally reading what I wrote down. I get that Bruno is super smart and it's good with tech. But how does he have the technology to scan Kamal's like biometrics or whatever you call it? Like, isn't that some Avengers level tech? Like, I, I don't understand. I get he's smart and he got accepted to Caltech, but like, uh, okay. You know what? I, I won't even ask, ask any more questions, but it, it seemed a little unrealistic. Just a little bit. Um, the training scene has some questionable CGI. I actually saw that scene uh, when she went, Amon Volani, when she went on a the Jimmy Fallon show and they showed that clip of her kind of training and using the hard light to kind of jump from platform to platform almost like lily pads and there's a scene where she's like yes and it just looks really fake you know I, it doesn't take me out of it at all because I love this episode but it looks a little fake um as always great like use of practical and visual effects when it comes to like text messages and stuff I love that kind of shit um let me see here. Seems like Kamala's somewhat getting the hang of things, but by the end of the episode, you see, like, she almost killed a kid on accident. So, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Cameron at the party brings them all home. Kamala gets his number. And then she has that whole dancing scene where she's dancing to a uh, be my, be my baby. A great scene. I just love, I love that. I love musicals. So, like, that felt like a musical to me, and I just love that. Honestly, I'd love to see, like, an MCU musical movie, but not, like, not, like, Rogers the musical. I would still love to see that, but, like, an all-out musical where everybody's just, like, randomly breaking out of the song. I would love that. Um, yeah, Kamala's nose starts glowing at school. She goes into the bathroom. Nakia's like, hey, you need a tampon. Um, she's like, uh, no, I think I'm good, because her hand starts glowing as she's trying to grab it. Um... 
but yeah, Nakia seems like a really cool character. Just things that she's doing right now, you know, um, oh shoot, what is it called? Is it a mosque that they go to? I'm pretty sure. Um, she is on the board or something like that. She's trying to, I forget exactly what, but, um, basically she, if she gets, you know, voted in, then she'll be able to actually make some change for not only the women, but you know, for everybody there, hopefully. Um, she's definitely a feminist. She's empowered. She is awesome. Like that. Um, that being said, like, we still haven't had quite enough from her, and I'm still waiting for Kamala to tell her about her powers. Um, because I feel like until they do that, it's just not gonna be as close of a connection, I guess. For me, at least. That's how it feels. Um, yeah, Zoe got questioned by uh, Agent Clear Cleary and Agent Deaver. Um, Agent Cleary being the one that we saw in the post credit scene or after credit scene of the last episode, which is honestly like we don't get that a whole lot in these Marvel shows, especially in the first episode. But um, yeah, she's getting questioned by them. And oh, yeah, also Agent Cleary. Uh, it's hard to say that Cleary. We saw him in Spider-Man No Way Home um, from he's the, the DOC agent. Um, and then Deaver, I don't think, I don't know for sure if we saw her in Spider-Man No Way Home, but I don't like this bitch already. <laughs> like, let me tell you, the first question she starts asking about, about, um, you know, this nightlight person is like, they have an accent. Uh, what do you think? Are they, uh, Middle Eastern? Are they, you know, asking questions about like, basically trying to be like, oh, so do we have a terrorist on our hands? Do we have a fucking Haji on our hands? Like, fuck you, bitch. Like, just the way she was saying it, I, ooh, that bitch made me mad. I, I don't like to call women bitches, but this, she's a bitch, okay? <laughs> just immediately going for the, hey, do you think she might be, uh, you, know, you think she might be a terrorist or something like that? Do you, does she have an accent? Uh, it's just like, come on, you know what you're doing. She's like, oh, Latina, do you think she's Latina? Oh, I'm sorry, Latin X. I'm like, shut up. You're trying to be woke, but nobody, I can see through everything you do. Honestly, if I'm going to be mad at anybody, it's not going to be Kamala's mom. It's going to be this fucking Agent Deaver bitch. I'm fucking pissed at her now, okay? It's just like, oh. Mm. Uh, and then the second issue I had with this episode, um, Agent Cleary and Deaver are literally, like, standing right there talking about their game plan right in front of Zoe. I'm just like, really? You're just going to talk about your plan in front of the witness? That seems a little unprofessional, but... Um, yeah, towards the end of the episode, Kamala saves a kid from falling off a building. And, um, you know, something funny I heard in the new Rockstar's breakdown is that Nakia, the uh, shoes that got stolen from her in the mosque, um, that that kid that was falling, he was the one wearing them. Um, so kind of karma in a way, but, you know, obviously we don't want kids to die. That's not good. Um, no matter how much, you know, how, how much of an asshole they are, they're still a kid. But uh, yeah, he saves him with the hard light and all that kind of stuff. Uh, talking about ice cream pizza. <laughs> Some guy in the crowd, he's just like, did somebody say ice cream pizza? And I was just like, that's funny. <laughs> this, this show is really funny, honestly. I, I love it. Um, definitely definitely one of the more lighthearted uh, Disney Plus shows. It makes me laugh a lot. Um, but yeah, she saves the kid. But she kind of gets in her head a little bit. And she sees a vision of somebody. Not exactly sure who to be honest maybe like her great great grandma uh grandmother who they're talking about in the show i'm pretty sure that's who they're talking about um and then she almost fucking kills the kid she drops him but ends up being able to save him i think the worst he came out with was a broken ankle and um i i know why she felt bad but at the same time i was like kamali you still saved his life you are a g this is your only time this is only your second time saving somebody i mean technically you saved bruno and you know um that backstage area when the the props were falling over the place but i don't think that one fully counts this definitely counts as like you know um her trying to save somebody and having like a big mission to save somebody uh, maybe not a mission but you, you know what i mean um helping a stranger essentially i guess um it's only your second time saving somebody and the fact that he only came out of it with a broken ankle i'm proud of her uh, but I can understand why she's upset about it because still she lost her concentration. It doesn't look good. Um, you know, 
dropping somebody who you're trying to save. So I understand where she's coming from. But um, yeah, the DOC, as Kamala's running away, she uh, the DOC finds her, fights a couple drones, which reminds me heavily of the Avengers game because uh, there were drones you had to take out in that game, I believe. But uh, yeah, after the DOC shows up, she like tries to get away from them. Cameron shows up in his car and he's like, all right, let's go. And he seems to not be phased too much that she's, you know, Miss Marvel or Nightlight, um, which is a little surprising at first. But then you look in the backseat and his mom is back there and uh, she's like, hello, Kamala. I've been very excited to meet you. Um, so I don't know what the whole deal is. I don't know if her and Cameron are uh, related, if she's related to his mom or whatever, or what's going on. Um, there's a lot of clues that I'm not knowledgeable enough to pick up on. And, um, I only watched like half of that, uh, new Rockstars breakdown. So I don't know everything yet, but you know, all will be revealed most likely. So yeah, really great episode of Miss Marvel. Um, definitely went over that six minutes. So anybody listening, sorry if you got a bunch of spoilers, uh, but I'll try to edit something in, in the podcast version. So I'm, I'm more worried about the podcast version, like the audio only version rather than the YouTube version, because anybody watching right now has already watched the episode or doesn't care about spoilers. But, uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say about the second episode of Miss Marvel. Such a great show so far. I'm having so much fun with it. Mong Vellani is fucking fantastic as Kamala Khan. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. But uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment down below what you thought of this episode or what you're thinking of Miss Marvel so far. And uh, please subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. But I will see you guys in the next one where I review uh obi-wan kenobi episode five Jeez, i can't believe we're on episode five of that already but uh yeah let's head out